Hey guys, and welcome to the MBEX Stream UI tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to explain which add-ons I use and how to configure them. You can download the full package, you'll find the download link in the description below. After you unzip the package, throw the folders in the World of Warcraft installation direction and take a look at the readme text file. I hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future. Have fun! The first add-on we are going to install is KG Panels. With this add-on you can add graphics into your World of Warcraft interface. I'm going to show you how to add a single graphic and how you can configure it. Type in slash KG Panels config to open the add-on menu. We are going to create a layout. Click on the layout button and set a name. Click the button OK and create when you finished it. When you click on your layout you can activate, export, delete or rename your layout. Now we are going to click uh, on the Art Library button. There are two artwork types given, backgrounds and borders, as you can see on the left side. We are going to create our texture. Give it a name and add the path. The path starts at our World of Warcraft direction. My texture is placed in the interface add-ons KG panels and the extreme folder with the name darkcenterdown.tga. After I filled in the path, hit the button Add. Click on the Active Panels button and create a new panel. Click on the new panel to configure it. Choose the dark center down graphic and configure it. You can set many options for it, but if you're interested in it, you can fix it yourself, I think. To show you guys how this will work for the MB Extreme UI, I'm going to scale it up and place it into the bottom center of the UI. As you can see, I've created multiple panels. I've made some white panels and set the opacity down to about 25%. Now I will fix the chat. I'm going to put the background color to black and scale the chat so it will fix my chat panel. Now we are going to take a look at the Bartender 4 and button for set add-on. Type in slash Bartender 4 to open the add-on menu. Unlock the bars with a hit on the lock checkbox. You can move the bars now and give them a position you want. Click on the bar you want to configure it. Now you can customize it. We can set the alpha key, we can scale it, change the padding or how many buttons we want in the bar. We also can set the rows which means that you can make them vertical or horizontal. Now we are going to set the bars on the positions we want. Bar 1 and 2 in the first line and bar 3 and 4 in the second line. I'm just decreasing bar 2 and 4 to 3 buttons and set them after bar 1 and 3. So I have a long bar with 15 buttons. We're going to set bar 5, 6 and 7 to the right secondary buttons panel, which I created with KG panels. Let's see the final result. Now we're going to take a look at the button facet add-on. Open the menu with typing slash button facet into the chat box. You can set many different styles for the part and the button layout. I've just added a few to show you guys, uh, but you can download the hundreds of skins. I chose the skin Cave and set the glow up to 75%. Next add-on is Ovcore with the skin Ov Nivaya to set up our unit frames. Hit escape, click on the interface button and go to the Ov menu. There you can set shitloads of settings. 
just say a few sentences to this add-on because it takes long to set it up as you like. I'm not going to explain how to set up the pet frame and target frame and things like that. Take yourself in the target and move the frames around. Hit the size and portraits button in the off menu and choose the option portraits enabled to activate the portraits. Simply size the frames by adding a frame width and frame height. You can also size the health and mana bar by setting the size in the text boxes. The next add-on is Quartz. I use Quartz to set up the cast bars for myself, target, focus target and so on. Type in slash Quartz to open the menu. Click the button Toggle Bar Lock to move the cast bars around. When you click on the different cast bars you can configure them. For example Player for my own cast bar and Target for the target's cast bar. Here you can change many settings for the cast bar. Change the size, the layout, which information you want to know, set the icon frame or even disable it. Let's give it a test if our cast bars works. The next add-on is Titan Panel. You can see it at the top of the screen. Right click on the panel to configure it. You can add several informations about the character, for example gold, repair, cords, and also how much FPS you have or the latency. Basic Minimap is a small add-on uh, to configure the map. You can add several styles, but we are fine with this one and we just set it to the map panel. With Recount you can record fights and see how much damage you've done, how much did your healers heal, how much damage got the tanks, how often you interrupted, dispelled or purged, how often did you auto hit, how much crit on auto hits, it just shows every single detail of the combat. You can also share the information by the integrated post function. With Omen you can watch your threat in the boss. As DPS you always have to keep an eye on it, would be too bad if you would die because of aggro. Elkanos buff bars will be our buff and debuff add-on. We are just going to add the layout of the bars and set it to white with low transparency. To activate the debuff on trench bars you type in slash EBB which stands for Elkanos buff bars. Click on the group settings, choose group 2 and 3 and activate the end QR to customize them.